I am about to show you the easiest and most natural looking underpainting technique right here, right now. Let's go. Okay, so of course I am late to the party, but I absolutely could not show you guys my favorite underpainting technique without this amazing new color fast track stick from Trish McAvoy called Glow. This is to complete the collection. This is our blush. I had to have this in order to do this for you guys. So let me explain a little bit. The underpainting technique is not new. Shout out to JLo and her amazing makeup artist for making it go viral. We love you and gosh, do you guys do it so well. Underpainting has been a thing for a really long time and it's beautiful. You basically think of your contour and your highlight as the bones and then you apply your foundation on top of it. So it gives you structure and it makes everything look look super, super natural. Now, you guys who have been here with me for a while know that I don't really wear foundation. It's not my thing. I only do it when I have to, but I love to be able to get ready in two seconds and run out of the house and go. And I can do that by using the Trish McAvoy Fast Track Sticks in a contour highlight and blush color. How exciting is that? And I'm not even gonna put anything on top of it. So I used these exact same three colors on my eyes. My eyes are already done. You guys know the drill. So I'm going to walk you through this. We're going to keep it super, super basic. So eyes first. Now we're going to move on to like a little bit of concealer or corrector. We're going to use our instant eye lift to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and underpaint with these guys. And that's it. Okay, here we go. So if you're new here and you don't know why I am drawing a massive triangle under my eye, and getting it in my hair, that's okay. Uh, if you're new here, I need to explain to you guys that this is instant eye lift, okay? There is a video that I have done on this and why I think that this product is the most amazing thing and that every single person on the planet needs to have it in their makeup bag. It is a corrector that works as a concealer, but it's also a treatment for your eye. So it has caffeine and green tea extract in it. It's gonna bring down puffiness and it's amazing. Most people, not everyone, most people can get away with just this guy under the eye and it instantly brightens and the triangle is on purpose. It lifts this entire area of the face. So it does serve a little bit as our highlight, but I am going to show you guys how we're going to use actual the actual highlight stick. Okay, so there you go. Look, and it's out of my hair. You see how easy that was? Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, there you have it, instant eye lift. It's literally an instant eye lift. I use my wet dry brush. Again, go watch the video. It's phenomenal, you guys need it, okay? Let's move on to our underpainting. I am so ready. So we are gonna keep this super simple. These are the beautiful and hydrating fast track sticks by Trish McAvoy. We have a highlight. We have bronze, which will be our contour, and we have this beautiful new shade, which is called Glow, which is gonna be our blush. You really can't go wrong. We're gonna go back and we're gonna use that same brush that I just used, which is the double-ended brush right here, except I'm gonna use this side, okay? Ready? Here we go. We are gonna start with our contour. I'm gonna use the bronze fast track stick. Now, guys, remember every face shape is different. Everybody wants to do something a little bit different to their face to make them feel good. That's what makeup is for, to make you feel good and make you feel your best. So this is not a face contour 101. I am just gonna show you how I take two seconds to do my contour when I'm underpainting, okay? So we always wanna lift. We're never going underneath those cheekbones anymore. That's not a thing. But just don't pull your dark in here. That we wanna make sure stays bright, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna bring it up towards the temple. I'm a Virgo, so I like to make sure that I am balanced on this side before I move on, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that we are even here okay and again we're going to blend all of this out we want to go and we want to hit where the sun is naturally going to give us color on our face okay so it comes across the forehead i know i look crazy i want a little bit of definition under my chin just a tiny bit so i'm going to go right under here okay maybe a tiny bit of structure around my nose remember we are laying down you're thinking of this as the bones okay so a little bit there maybe a tiny bit right here it makes it pull back a little bit now i do want to get under here just to go ahead and pull what's light back okay we don't want it sticking out so we start there 
starting with the contour. Again, do what you got to do for your face, but you guys know me. I'm all about natural. I'm not here to make myself look like somebody else. Okay. Remember that you're beautiful. Take your highlight. We already brightened under the eye. If you need concealer somewhere, go ahead and start applying that. But the highlight does not replace your concealer. Okay. We're going to go on top on top of that contour here with this highlight because I want those outer corners of my eye to be nice and lifted. I'm not going in towards my eye. I'm just going right on top of that. And maybe I want a little bit of brightness here, okay, right in the middle and maybe a little bit down the nose. Again, to each his own. I do know for a fact I need a little bit of this right here. Just a little bit. That's going to make my lip pop, okay? And then if you want a tiny bit here on the chin to make it pull forward, we can go like that. But nice and simple, okay? Simple. It's taking a long time because I'm talking. You know I'm a chatty Kathy. I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys, okay? So we have our highlight. Again, apply highlight wherever you want. And then we take the newest shade, which is glow. And this is going to be my blush, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of color. So remember, we want to make sure that we are no more than thumb widths in towards our nose. That's a big thing, okay? So we're going to add this color, Ooh, she's pretty. And I'm going to put it on here. She's glowing already. And we're going to blend it up towards that highlight. Okay, remember, this is all going to blend in together at the end. Now, I also maybe want to put like a dab over here and a dab over here. I need you guys to remember, I will not be putting foundation on top of this. The majority of people who do underpainting, it's underpainting for your foundation. But with these Trish Fast Track sticks, I don't feel like I need to wear foundation. I really don't ever like to wear foundation if I don't have to. Okay, so let's keep life simple. There we go. I have painted under under nothing other than my brush. Now, I'm going to take that double-ended brush, which you guys know this was my uh, instant eye lift, remember? Um, my double-ended wet-dry brush, which is the best brush ever. And I'm going to take this, and what are we going to do? We're going to blend this together, always working upwards. Why? Because if I brought highlight and contour up here, and I focused on keeping my cheek color down there, I'm not gonna drag all of this madness down, right? And the most important part, whether it's this brush or any brush, I want you to buff. I do not want you to streak, okay? Buff, buff, buff means rub, 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 okay? So we are basically just blending all of this in so that it looks nice and natural, that it looks like your skin, okay? So remember, if you were gonna be wearing foundation, you can go ahead and you can handle that. But right here, right now, we are not going the foundation route. I just want you guys to see how amazing these sticks look by themselves and just give you like that natural, huh, I'm loving it, okay? Make sure that it's blended out, guys. Just go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Remember, I had my highlight here, so we're gonna work it up. And yes, it's okay that I'm using the same brush because all of the tones are very similar and we don't want them to look separated, but we just want our skin to look really good, okay? So this guy here, we don't want it to be too thick. So if you need to clean off your brush and use the other end of that to go ahead and get in there for the contour, do it. Um, I'm not that particular about it. I just do it as an extra. But remember, this is the darker part here. We're highlighting up through here. Relax this right here. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and under here, circle, 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 circle. We always want everything to blend, 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 blend. Don't forget about this guy because how embarrassing would it be if you forgot that you took care of this and didn't blend it out and left the house like that? It's a little bit more serious than a line of demarcation, okay? Buff, 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 pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Oh my goodness, do I love this situation, okay? Yes. Now, I have a lot of highlight going on for me right now in the center of my face, which I normally won't do, but I wanted you guys to really see how gorgeous this is. So how would I bring that down? I would go ahead and I would add a little bit of translucent powder. Look at my skin, though. Hello. Just saying, just saying, keep buffing because, you know, we are a little bit detail oriented up in this house. Okay, so keep buffing wherever it feels natural. I just don't want you guys to go out of the house with streaks, but I want you to go out with amazing skin. Look at that. I'm obsessed with my skin right now. Love it. Okay, so I am going to like tone this down a little bit with some translucent powder and I will be right back. 
And there you go. There you have it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Natural. It feels amazing. Still no foundation. We have our highlight. All I did for my lip was I took a little bit of barely nude pencil and I just outlined my lip. That's it. I just outlined it and I filled it on a little bit over my lip balm and that's it. I'm good to go. Super simple. So remember guys, you can go ahead and you can do your underpainting even if you are not putting foundation on top of it, okay? These guys are amazing. Also remember, I think I mentioned to you guys, my eye look, these guys. So watch the video on how I used these on my eyes as well. Super easy, super fast, super natural technique. Love you guys. Bye.